Aries, welcome. We're going to do a general love read for you, for you and your partner. We're going to use two separate decks, one for you and one for your partner. That said, we're going to look at your current views towards your partner, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, or what you may need to be aware of. And then we're going to do the same for your partner. And then at the end, I'll pull three cards for any further clarification. So Aries, let's get going and see what is going on. Well, right off the go, we have the death card showing up for you, Aries. So this can be a couple of things. One is that you're going through major change, or you're hoping they would go through a major change. And then we have the strength card showing up in your desires. Maybe you wish to show the strength that you do have as an individual. And then we have the emperor card come up for you. So somebody that is really wanting to be ambitious, stable, and basically in command of everything that's around them. Uh, the Emperor is also your energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is working for you, so good news that's been coming for a while. And then the Queen of Pentacles is what you need to be aware of with your partner. And we see that this is probably that you shouldn't discount your self-worth by any means. That said, Aries, let's get into your partner and see how your partner is feeling towards you. We'll go through your their cards first and clarify, and then we'll clarify yours at the end. So how is your partner, or how is Aries lover looking at them? Well, we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up. So maybe they've been patiently waiting for some type of news from you. Hmm. And they're a little disappointed because they haven't received it yet, but they're really hoping that this Four of Wands is what's going to make them stable. We have the Page of Cups, so an opportunity that could be coming in or a news that's coming in that could make them feel really, really good. And we also have the Star. And the Star to me is that something that they need to be aware of is that uh, of their hopes and of their dreams. So let's go through this and start to clarify. the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Justice card, and the Seven of Cups. And it's interesting lately this week, um, for the other signs that I've done readings for, uh, a lot of duality, and I don't want to say duality, yeah, I guess it's the word. So Seven and Seven is showing up in your bottom here. Um, I've had them showing up, sort of clarifying you know, double numbers clarifying everything for different signs coming out. This is kind of interesting. Just an interesting note. Um, we see that this Knight of Pentacles, um, maybe they see you as somebody that's uh, reliable, steady, that type of thing. Um, and they're waiting for this offer. And they're getting a little sort of grumpy about it. We see the Seven of Wands coming up, and maybe they're a little confrontational uh, with you about it, and they really need to balance that out, uh, because there's a lot of opportunity uh, there with you, but they're just not sure what they're doing with it. Uh, they're not sure if it's opportunity, or just uh, they're experiencing a lot of indecision, or maybe you are. Now, this Page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. Although there has been a delay in sort of that offer or news, uh, they're still hopeful for it. And we see that the Emperor has come up. Or so, yeah, so we've had the Emperor come up in theirs, which is your energy. And they still want to start something with you because they see that there's a lot of value 
um, and that their dreams and what they're hoping for, that emotional side, is all going to be sort of taken care of by you. Now, stepping up into this Four of Wands is the outcome. Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel, and the Five of Cups. Although, this is going to lead them into this energy of, you know, this is a really good thing. They're really looking forward to start something with you because they can see what it's going to bring them, which is the wheel. And it's going to change their life, uh, but they might still be looking back, missing a few things with the Five of Cups. Um, this is one of those things where they could be disappointed that if this doesn't happen, but they really wanted to start with you. Now this Page of Cups, let's <clears throat> figure out what this Page of Cups is here. So we have the World, the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. They see that they can have the world with you. They see that the type of individual that you are, but they're afraid. And they're afraid to lose. They're afraid to lose this romance and this love. There might be even another coming in for them uh, because there's been such a delay uh, with sort of the news from you. Now let's look at the star. They're hoping you're going to take action. Uh, the fact that you haven't taken action yet towards this person uh, with this hangman here has really caused them a lot of pain. They're hoping that this would have been something that would have happened already. And because it hasn't, it's leaving them that, in that energy of pain and possibly uh, they're entertaining uh, this Knight of Cups where they're looking at possibly uh, leaving you or seriously considering this, this uh, Knight of Cups. So let's go back to you and clarify your cards. How is Aries feeling towards their person? Why is the Death card here? Well, it sees you, that you're in your current energy, and this needs to change because you're holding on to the past. You're holding on to a lot, uh, and you're not really sure if you want to go forward with this particular individual. Uh, why is the strength card here? Well, we've had uh, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Hangman. So, it seems like you're holding back because you're in your head about what you should do about this, if anything. You see that, you know, there is a sort of silver lining here with the Ten of Cups, but you're in your head for some reason, and I don't know why that is. Now, let's go up and start looking at the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Actually, I want to read this differently. It seems like you do want this. Uh, we have the strength card. I kind of see that it is holding on. Uh, you're holding on to the dream of this, although you're just seeing how this actually turns out and how this person behaves. Now, why is the emperor here? Ah, there we go. And I see this as, you kind of don't think that they're playing by the same rules you are with the Seven of Swords. Not everything's going to plan, and you're putting in a lot of work to make this stable. So it's interesting that we've had very, very similar cards show up in both readings. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Well, the Knight of Pentacles... Uh, slow and steady sort of wins the race. Uh, we have the sixth of 
wand showing up. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. We can see that this has been a long slog for you in some way. Uh, and people have noticed that you've been working on this and eventually it's going to bring good news and sort of that positive outcome where you start heading with the current rather than fighting the current. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower of the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So your energy shows up again and we have as the Tower and we have the Page of Cups. Um, you need to be secure in your worth um, before you're able to make this offer and then things will really take off. Um, I kind of get the feeling that you're possibly not looking at yourself as quite the catch. It seems like you might just sort of be biding your time to make this other person make the choice so you don't have to. Um, that said, let's go in and let's actually pull three more cards for you and then three more cards for your person. Well, see we have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. And this says to me that um, you need to use your head with what you want in order to be successful. If you want this person, great. If you don't want this person, cut them out. Um, I see with the Queen of Swords you might be ready to do that and really just start moving on your own way, taking care of what uh, you want. Now for your partner. This is interesting. So your partner has the Devil, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Now, the Devil can be that um, there's a lot of manipulation uh, that's been going on. Somebody's been making somebody dance to their own tune and they're tired of it. Uh, and they're going to start taking action. That said, Aries, that is what I have for you today. Thank you for being here. Best of luck with this week. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how this actually turns out. I'd be really curious uh, to see how many people this actually resonate with in the comments. Thank you for being here. and We will see you next time.